Hi everyone, it's Donna Price again at Dallas Design Supply. Today I'm going to show you how to do roses made with burlap and satin ribbon. And I'll show you two different types. The first one I'm going to show you is with a wired burlap ribbon. But a lot of the people like the shabby chic look with just the strips of burlap and I'll show you how to do that also. Uh, for the wired one, these are some little roses that I've made with the wired and I just want to show you, you can make these with the same thing I'm working with here. Uh, this is actually like a two inch, two and a quarter inch uh, wired burlap ribbon and it does come with the little wire in it. And I usually begin with about, oh, two to two feet to three feet of the burlap. And I will tell you that when you start pulling on one end of the wire and you go to that same identical wire at the other end and you'll pull that and we're going to gather this ribbon along this wire. And the key to this is to get it as tight as you can and it will go pretty, pretty tight on the roll. You're not going to be bothered with the other end right now, the other wired edge. So you're going to just keep pulling this until make sure you don't lose any of your wire here. That's why I do one end and then I go back and do the other end because I want to make sure I don't pull my wire through all the way. So what you'll do is just get it as tight as you can. It will only go just so far, so that's how far you want to go. So that three foot piece becomes just a little bit over a foot. So it's about a triple uh, ruffle on it. Now I'll usually cut the wire a little bit that comes out of it. And I do not like this little rough edge on here. So what I'll do is take that wire that I've ruffled and pull that little edge down. So you'll have a little piece. I, I usually cut off the little strings if they happen because this is more of a tailored rose whereas the other I'm going to show you is not a tailored rose. So you'll end up with something like this and what you'll start doing, you'll take the wire and pull it out to the side where your gathering is. So wherever, whatever side your gathering is on, this is the side your wire will be out. And basically what you'll do is you'll start rolling and you keep that wire coming out through the center because it's going to be the center of your rose down underneath it. And all you'll do is roll and roll and roll. If you feel insecure about it, you can take a little bit of hot glue, just a little dab will do you. and you'll keep rolling. One of the key elements to this is this bottom edge needs to be level. So all of your uh, planes that you're putting on here, they all need to be the same height and where you won't lose any of the center of your rows or the outside of your rows. And you basically just keep rolling until you reach the end. And sometimes I'll put just a little bit more of a glue right here. And believe me, you don't need very much glue. It'll hold real fine. And then you're at this end. I'm gonna push that down. I'm gonna snip off some of this wire because you don't need that much wire. We've got like two feet of wire there. And on this end also, I don't like that edge. So I'm gonna pull it just take that wire, pull it until it folds down. Well, I did it too close to the thing. Until it folds down. And the hit, the ruffled uh, edging is off. And then you're going to take those two wires, bring them to the center. One of them's already in the center. And you're going to twist them in the center. So you end up with something that looks like this. 
At this point, if you feel in insecure about it, you can take a wire and go all the way through it, a heavier wire. But usually this will be enough to, to, to do what you need to do. Now at this point, you can keep it with the edges just like they are and make your pretty ribbon because your wire is right on the edge. Another idea to do with this would be to take it and just roll the edge that has the wire on it. And I just usually just do it really all, all of it together before I try to fix the rows. So just flip that over and it is probably about oh a quarter of an inch is what I'm flipping over. And this is just an extra step. You don't have to use that. That's what I've used on this particular rose. And you just keep rolling that edge down. And when we get through rolling it, that's when we'll sort of shape our rose to the shape that we want. Now, of course, if you want a smaller rose or more of a rose bud, you wouldn't need this much ribbon. You could probably just make do with a smaller amount. But then, you, as you can see, you can just make these petals go in and out, whatever you would like your rose to look like. So then you would have a really pretty rose. This is a cream colored one. Wonderful to, to use on burlap wreaths and uh, birch wreaths, grapevine wreaths, anything organic it works really, really well with. I want to show you how now how to do one of the leaves. Now the leaves are made of a, a wired ribbon also. You, you can also do the same thing with an unwired ribbon. But basically all I do is I take it and I turn it and I turn it and then I cut this edge. And I tend to like this little edge where it's turned, where you can see the folds in it. You can use this edge if you, if you like that one better. I usually just make one little fold in it till you have something like this. And I sometimes I'll just use that same wire I cut off of the rose and use it. So then you have this cute little rose and you can actually attach it to the thing. You can use this edge if you'd rather. And it would make it, you can wire it on a longer wire, a dial rod, or whatever if you're using it for an arrangement. Now the last thing I want to show you is the burlap that is not wired. This is just a strip of burlap that I have, and it's probably about two and a half to three inches. And the way that I do it is I'll fold it like so, sort of at an angle. And you'll start rolling that, that angle. Now at this point, I usually use a little dab of glue. And when you get to the point where the fold is ended, then you'll take that burlap and you'll roll it. And you'll, you'll keep rolling that one piece of burlap over and over again. Every time you roll it, it will make a new petal. And you roll it the same way each time. And you can use this on any type of fabric. You can use it on silk. You can make beautiful silk roses. Uh, the ribbon that I've used, the burlap for the wired. There are so many gorgeous ribbons now that you can make roses out of. A lot of people even like the new print ribbons. And they're just so versatile to do that. But this one you don't have to have. You can actually use strips of fabric to make this bow. I mean, make this rose. So what you do is just keep rolling it. And then when you get to the back, what I'll usually do is take just a little piece 
You can put it on a wire if you like. You can stick a whole wire through there. Or you can take just a little piece, and I'll probably, uh, let me make sure I'm holding it right. So you've got this in your hand like so, and I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this little piece of burlap. Don't worry about the shape of it right now. And then I'm gonna lay it on there and sort of squish it into that little piece of burlap. And you're gonna let it dry. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit before I start pulling it up. And then I usually trim off the edges. And I, I like to put the green on the bottom of this unless you're just doing an all cream colored if you're going to put any kind of leaves on it, I usually put the green back here because the bottom of a rose is actually green. So there you have that particular kind. So I hope I've helped you today learn how to do the roses.